guys welcome to my channel my name is rachel banks and this is let's get planned okay guys so we are on vlogmas day 15 okay we've been going strong and today's vlogmas is going to be just like a chit chat how are you guys enjoying these vlog vlogmas videos i've been having fun i think the last vlogmas we did it was a shot with me um and then i showed you guys my little candle haul from bath and mighty works um and because today is kind of like a chill day i cooked last night so um before the live yesterday i had actually um baked some chicken because that's what we typically eat a lot of is baked chicken um and then some sort of vegetable and side dish or whatever um so i baked some baked chicken and we eat leftovers so i usually cook in bulk um so i'm not having to cook every singular day um and I got baked chicken left for tonight, so it's going to be a smooth night. So after I get off the live, I'm going to have me a glass of wine. I'm going to drink me, um, drink me. I'm going to eat, you know, dinner, and I'm going to relax on tonight. How are you guys doing Um, if you celebrate Christmas and actually buy gifts for Christmas? Um, so if you buy gifts for Christmas, are you guys caught up on your gifts are you still out there shopping for gifts um you know how are you guys doing with that i know i still have a few things to get but luckily we got the baby girl who we pretty much got take got taken care of um i got a few more things to get for her but for the older kids it's money honey um so we don't have to worry about you know really getting them anything we may get some token things to put under the tree um things that they will love um but they're getting money. When I say token things, maybe like some cologne or something like that. Um, nothing big because they're getting cash. It makes it easier. Um, especially because um, our the, the rest of our kids are teenagers. Besides our baby girl, the rest of our kids are teenagers and can't shop with teenagers because they like what they like. And I don't know what they like because it changes, you know, by the day. So, um, other than that, we're pretty set on Christmas. I still need to do um shopping for food but i'm waiting until it gets closer to christmas because like i said it's a part of our tradition our cr christmas tradition that i cook prime rib and i like to get that you know around christmas time other than that i'm, I'm, I'm good I'm, I'm good on christmas but leave that in the comment section and let me know how you guys are feeling um you know how you guys are doing how you're holding up um are you guys still on track with the end of the year um have you accomplished all your goals is there anything that you're going to change next year for your goals maybe i'll go live and we could talk about goal planning for 2022 i know a lot of people are doing vision board parties which i love me a good old vision board party now um so i usually whatever one and it is and i'm free i go to it um even if i've already done my vision board i just like to go for inspiration and i kind of can see what other people are doing in terms of like what are your goals you know get ideas um how do you plan to achieve your goals how do you measure your goals how do you measure your progress um things like that and then how do you reward yourself like once you accomplish something you reward yourself like how do you reward yourself um so you know what are what are your measurements um how do you create obtainable goals so i like to go to the different vision board parties because i like to see things like that let me know down in the comment section if you guys will be interested in that i know i wanted to go live doing a flip through of my social media planner because we are nearing the end i was about to look for it we are nearing the end of the year and so i had said i was going to do a flip through of it but i don't know okay guys because i'm not tech savvy in terms of being able to flip the camera because i want to still see the comments so if i go live how will i see the comments um if i'm showing you guys the planner because i got the camera flip because it would be weird maybe i could show it like this like hold it up so let me know down in the comment section i know i'm asking a lot of questions so comment section should be lit on this video but let me know down in the comment section if you guys want me to do a live flip through of my social media planner um or if you just want me to film it um the flip through because i would like to chit chat about it like where my mind was at especially at the beginning because um starting that social media planner um that i'm gonna do the flip through is when i started my youtube channel like where my head was at where my uh where i was creatively um it's just you know you can see the transitions throughout the spreads i like to flip through my planners all the time um also okay 
look i told you the conversation about to be lit with this video leave down in the comment section and let me know if you guys toss your planners at the end of the year or do you keep them um so i keep all of my memory keepers whether it be a scrapbook a journal i don't throw any of it away um so i'm gonna keep my planners because i use it as it as all i use it as a journal i use it as a memory keeper i use it as a, a scrapbook i actually you know and i use it as a planner i use my planners for all the things um so i'm definitely going to keep them for next year because i was watching um piece of the plans uh video uh this morning and she was talking about um you know, as it's coming to the end of the year, it's kind of like a bittersweet moment because, you know, all of the memories and things like that that she filled in the planner and then leaving that planner or whatever. And, you know, I, I am excited to change out planners um, because, you know, I'm trying, I'm going to be trying a new system. Um, I'm going to have a new set of goals. Um, and those new set of goals may have some of the old goals in it but maybe changed up a little bit so that in the new year so let's say i have some goals that i didn't accomplish um this year and i want to still have those same goals and i want to accomplish them in 2022 i need to evaluate and see why i did not accomplish them and then maybe make some tweaks so they'll be different they'll be new goals but um so I, i'm excited about a new year and i know a lot of times um you get a lot of pushback when people talk about um new year's resolutions and creating new goals at the beginning of the year like why would you change up things just because it's a new year or why are you wanting to you know do this because you, it's a new year it's like to me this is just my personal opinion and you know it's just as valid as the person who thinks that um you shouldn't have goals every year um but to me that's a point of making your goals obtainable it's setting deadlines you know some of your goals are going to be like three month goals some of your goals are going to be six month goals and then you're going to have you have to have an end point right where you go back and you evaluate the whole picture like what is it that i if, if you want goals you know everybody don't have goals everybody just some people could be living just you know free form like just just don't have a goal just whatever flows flows and there's other people that's like okay I want to do this by the time I turn this age or I want to start a business this year. So these are my goals in order to accomplish starting a business. Okay, I've already started a business. So I want to do this. I want to accomplish this. So, you know, and it takes every type to make the world go round. My only thing is when you get that pushback, it's like, well, I'm not pushing back on you saying that you need to come up with goals. So don't push back on me because I came up with goals and I want to measure them yearly because most companies like successful companies they measure goals and success of their company yearly now i know i'm not a company i am an individual but it's good to kind of adopt um uh, things that work you know what i mean like if companies measure goals yearly and they set goals yearly if you want to be successful at whatever it is that you want to do then it seems like you would want to make some measurable goals that you measure at some point in time whether it be a year whether it be three months whether it be you know whatever you want to make measurable goals and most people they do it by the year like okay for give myself a year to accomplish all these things now i will say a lot of people don't set realistic goals or they don't set objectives to meet their goals so like for example i am going to lose 100 pounds by 2020 so 2022 is going to be focused on losing 100 pounds by 2023 i need to have some objectives and i need to measure those each of those objectives before i can accomplish that goal um so i like going to um uh, workshops and the vision board parties because you get a lot of that especially from the people who are running it um if they you know are into that they'll tell you you know let's break down the goals and this that and the other and just helping you prioritize things um or whatnot so i'm gonna be working on some goals for 2022 uh have you guys already started thinking about what goals you're gonna be working on are you guys going to any vision board parties i know i have um two or three in mind already that i'm gonna be attending i know for certain i'm going to the gold mine of coco vision board party um because fee the owner of gold mine of coco she is so uh business savvy so if you're 
trying to start up anything or you already have something you just need a little inspiration or you just want to see what somebody else has to talk about uh go matter coco is definitely the place to be because she definitely shares her knowledge um over there so i like to go to her vision board party um and then the owner of potty mouth planners uh piatra she is having a vision board party so far so it is you know tentative but those are the two vision board parties that right now i plan to go to um and if i see any other ones out there i definitely will attend because i mean you get so the more you see the more you learn the more you you know just just see different things the more you get get out of it you know what i mean like you take what you need and you leave the rest behind so that's how i am i go into all these different places and i take what i need and i leave the rest behind um, so I'm excited about 2022. I'm excited about moving into my new planners. Um, like I told you guys, my A5, I'm going to have that throughout so far. I think I'm going to have it throughout, um, 2022. The only, so I'm going to do a, um, planner lineup. I'm going to grab all my planners. I'm going to do a planner lineup. I may do a live here on uh, Facebook or, I mean Facebook, on YouTube, or I may head on over to Instagram and do a live and do my planner lineup. I'm not really sure yet how I want to do it. Um, but one of the things that I am changing for sure for 2022, and this is just for me personally, is moving out of dated planners. Um, I like an undated planner because especially especially if it's like a rings or disc where i can move my pages around um because i'm not restricted or i don't feel guilty if i want to use um different inserts so like for example in my a5 every month i can change out the the style of layout because i have moved into undated um whereas if i had dated i'll have to stick with that specific style throughout the duration of that period at least for me because i don't I, like i said i don't like um stopping and having half used things you know um uh, but that's just my own personal thing now if it doesn't work it doesn't work and then i, I definitely will stop it like i said i will you know either give it away or de-stash it or whatever um but as a practice i like to just use it um and i find that having um rings and disc help with that the people who like to change up um a lot frequently um and using undated planners because i find myself redating dated planners anyway because i always end up um erasing the 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 day and the the date and and redating it so i end up doing that anyway so Undated for me, 2022. Um, I don't think I have a dated planner in 2022. Uh, I'm excited about 2022. Uh, hopefully you guys are too. Um, I, at the end of 2020, um, wrote out, and I have to check my planner. I think I did 20 things that I accomplished or that I appreciate, like big things that I appreciated in the year of 2020 before we moved into 2021. Because the past couple of years have been rough on, you know, quite a few people. But I didn't want to, and you will see that about me, um, even when I journal. I don't like to write down negative things because, you know, I believe in, you know, the power of manifestation. What you write out, what you think about, what you focus on is what you keep attracting. Um, and so, let's say I'm having a rough day. I don't write out in my journal, oh, my day is rough. I write about what went right. Um, I write about how I want tomorrow to look um and so you know what i what i am appreciative of but i don't write about the troubles or the problems in my journal i don't like putting that sort of stuff in my journal because i don't want to you know keep it going and i know sometimes they say if you focus on things like let's say you worried about a bill and you just steady thinking about that bill you, you go and steadily have that bill you know what i mean so I try not to focus on those things. And I know it's easier said than done, but I definitely try to not write it out. So um, at the end of 22, instead of talking about, you know, all of the things that went wrong in 2022, I wanted to focus on 20, th 20 things that went right in 2022. And that's what I did. And I probably will do the same in 2021. Um, just write out 21 things that went right in 2021. Um, and I want to say I had 22 goals and I think I was inspired 
not 22, 21 goals that I wanted to accomplish in 2021, which I need to go back and revisit. But uh, 21 personal goals that I wanted to accomplish in 2021. And I was inspired by Go Mind Coco. I think that was her setup in her goals planner. Um, which I got my goals planner, so I'm excited about that. Um, so it's good. I hopefully she has a section in there with like 20, 20, 22 things that you want to accomplish in 2022. And if not, you can always do it yourself because that's what I ended up doing. I was inspired, I saw it, I didn't have the goals planner. And so I just created my own, I, you know, I used my stickers and I created my own um, goal section. So anyways, hopefully you, hopefully you all are having a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. It is Tuesday, December 14th. It is almost going on four o'clock. So I'm about to get ready and head out and go pick up baby girl in a minute. Um, and that's pretty much all I have. So I'm excited about things that we got going on in 2020. Too, and I am very appreciative of my new patrons um, for my Patreon. And, you know, I just appreciate you guys' support, even in the live yesterday, just coming in. And it was like a party in the comment section. Everybody was, like, entertaining each other. Like, it was it was just a vibe. I, I appreciate I like stuff like that. Like, it was such a whole vibe. And we all have something in common in that we love crafting we love planners we love you know stickers and things like that we love why that's what we came for the joy of opening it up some stationary items and just enjoying life you know just a little just enjoying life so anyways hopefully i'll see you guys tonight at 7 p.m central standard time on my youtube channel um where i'll be going live unboxing day two of both my trader jones box and my um cookie sticker co box and i'm hoping that gold mine and cocoa box ships out by the end of this week so we can catch right on up next week um with cookie sticker co so we can start doing it day to day um Again, I've asked a lot of questions in this video, so I am excited to see all the responses down in the comment section. If you are new here and or have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then click the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. And then to all my existing subscribers, I appreciate your support. Thank you so very much, and I will talk to you all soon.